Hello namaskar welcome you're watching Dr Electronics channel as the title suggests i will discuss the 100% LHR unlock mining software with their stable versions it has been a good few days that the 100% LHR unlock mining software have been released and we see every day that every popular mining software are coming up with their own versions of the same with so many options on display it is hard to choose one but they all have one thing in common that they run stable that is without errors or hash rate drops when they are configured to run specifically on nvidia's lhr graphic cards only if you try to run them on a rig with mixed lhr and non lhr gpus that also includes the rtx 2000 series and gtx 1000 series these mining software tend to lose their stability and makes them utterly impossible to mine with but if you use these softwares to run only on the lhr gpus you will find them very stable and they will start making you more profit even in this bearish market at least they will help you utilize your gpus to their full potential so let's begin by downloading the stable versions of these mining softwares we can go to nb miners github site and download their latest version of the mining software which happens to be version 41.5 you can download the nb miners windows version 41.5 from this site and also available is the linux version for T-Rex Miner, we can go to their GitHub website and download the latest stable version 0.26.1 or join their Discord channel available on their website and download the T-Rex version 0.26.3 available for Windows and Linux both. For the LOL Miner, we can go to their GitHub website and download the latest 1.5 version of LOL Miner available for Windows, Linux and Hive OS. And last but not the least, we are on Gminer's GitHub website and the stable version 2.96 is available for Windows and Linux both. It has improved stability and it is also available on Hive OS with its stable updates. After downloading all these software, we would like to keep them in a safe place and extract their zip packages one by one. Let's begin with NBminer. We will extract this package here only. and then open up the nbminers 41.5 version folder here you want to find the start underscore eth file for windows 11 you will find too many options but you have to select show more option and then press on the edit key windows will try to block this software press on more info and then run anyway the start underscore eth dot bat file will open up you will need to change the entries here the at the rate cd this command needs to be there after that, nbminer needs to operate on ethash algorithm. In the mining pool entry, you have to choose your own mining pool. Whichever you prefer, I prefer two miners for mining Ethereum as it offers BTC as payout for your mining Ethereum. Once we are on the two miners website, we will press on quick start. It will take us to the page where it shows all the servers available for mining Ethereum for Asia, USA and Europe. We will choose Asia as our mining pool. We will copy the Asia's stratum and port address and paste it in the nbminers pool address entry for the start underscore eth dot bat file. Now we will change the mining address entry and replace it with our own. The dot default represents the name of the worker and we will replace it with whatever we want to name it. I am naming it test rig one. It's time to save the dot bat file and start execution. Once we execute this file, we will be greeted by the firewall to allow this access and then we'll notice that this miner needs to be run on administrative privileges. In this case, we need to close the miner window, right click on the start underscore e dot bat file, run as administrator and allow it to run. We will see that it has started mining and the LHR unlock is working now. We are off at 87.4 I am optimizing it using MSI afterburner here we have it 100 mega hashes with a power consumption of 262 watts and an added memory clock of 1300 megahertz and zero on the core clock you may find similar results with the same settings maybe higher or maybe lower depending on the type of graphic cards you have the type of memory you have but just be clear these are working fine as non LHR GPUs now that is a thumbs up for NB minor. 
Coming to T-Rex Miner for Windows, we will be keeping the same MSI Afterburner settings for all the mining softwares from now on. We have already extracted the T-Rex Miner zip file. Now open the folder and search for Ethereum for whatever pool you have. I will be choosing two miners pool for mining Ethereum on two miners pool. We will have to right click on the file, show more options for Windows 11 and for Windows 10, we will directly click on edit. We will be greeted by this window again and we will open up the .bat file. T-Rex miner is there in the .bat file. For the stratum, we will choose two miners stratum pool. Asia we have right here asia-eth.2miners.com and the stratum port is 2020. We will change this ethereum wallet address with our own. Remember to replace this file with your own wallet address and then rig.0 is going to be the name of the worker. We will replace this by test rig2 and then save the file. If you directly go to the miner folder now and try to run the file, you will be greeted by an error that the miner needs to run on administrative privileges. In this case, just close the miner and try to find the trex.exe file within the folder. Once you find the file there, right click on it and for Windows 11, you will see properties right between all the options. Click on properties, go to the compatibility tab, then click on run this program as an administrator and then click apply. After this, find your .bat file, the one that you edited and run that file now. In case Windows is blocking this file, you will have to go to more options and then run this file anyway. Now the T-Rex miner will run perfectly. Soon you will see 100 mega hashes on my graphic card. That is what I have set it up to. Limited it to 100 mega hashes. You can set the graphic card power limit to run to its full potential. I am doing this for the sake of testing purpose only. That is why I have set it up. Limited it to 100 mega hashes. Now let's move on to the next mining software. The LOL miner for Windows. We'll right click on the LOL miner zip file extracted here only. After extracting the file, open the folder and find the mineethlhradmin.bat file. For Windows 11, go to show more options and then click on edit. You will be greeted by the same blocker. Click on more info and then run anyway. LOL miner have seemed to created a much better interface for the users. For the pool, we will use the same two miners Asia pool. Copy it from the website and paste it right there in the pool within the quotes and replace the wallet address with our own and the name of the miner will be replaced by test trick 3. I will be typing test trick 3 here and then replacing the worker name below as well copying the same name and pasting it here. After making all these changes to the file, we will save this file, right click on it and run it as an administrator. We will find the lol miner is running perfectly. It will do its thing and eventually we will be getting 100 mega hashes on LOL miner as well. Using the same settings in MSI Afterburner, 70% on the power limit, 1300 on the memory and 0 on the core clock. Now coming to the G miner, the latest version of the G miner zip package shall be extracted right here within this folder. Now we'll open the folder and find the mine underscore eth dot bat file. We'll right click on this file and for Windows 11, go to show more options and then click on edit. Again, a similar interface opens up. For the server, I am choosing two miners Asia pool, copying it from the website and pasting it right here. And the address will be replaced with our own mining address here. And we'll save this .bat file. With all these LHR unlocking software, it has been observed that if you do not run these files in administrative mode, they will tend to give you an error that they need to be run in administrative privileges. As can be seen here, this is similar to what we have seen earlier. And this is just for demonstration that you need to run these files in administrative mode. Do this properly, right click on the miner.exe file, click on properties and then on compatibility, select the run this program as an administrator, apply and then OK. When you double click on the mine underscore eat dot bad file, it will open up the gminer. You have to go to more options and then run it anyway because it requires administrative privileges to run this software. You'll see the gminer running properly and we'll see 100 mega hashes pretty soon. The gminer immediately starts to run at 100% LHR unlock right away giving 101 mega hashes for what I've set this graphic card to run at. It can be potentially run at 120 mega hashes but I've power limited it to run at 100 mega hashes and we'll see that. This covers the Windows side of running all these mining softwares properly. 
with all the checkboxes and settings. Now let's move to Hive OSS settings, creating flight sheets for running stable mining softwares. Go to the flight sheets tab, select your coin, select your saved wallet address, select your mining pool, whichever your favorite is, and then for NB miner, go to NB miner within the miner and then set up miner configuration. For a multiple GPU rig, you can go to extra configuration argument, select the devices, and then for the sake of reference, go to your mixed rig and find out which devices are LHR and needs to be run within this NB miner. And we'll select another mining software for running devices that are non LHR. As you can see in my mixed rig, GPU number 1, 2, 3, and 4 are LHR GPUs and needs to be run in NB miner. And other GPUs, GPU 0 and 5, are 2000 series GPUs and needs to be run on another mining software. For that, we'll need to apply changes on this mining software. Add another miner, select the coin, select the wallet, select the mining pool. And then, for the sake of demonstration, I'm using T-Rex miner for this purpose. T-Rex miner will be selected. Click on setup miner configuration. Here in the extra configuration argument, you can see devices. And also is the right time to change the name of the worker. Your worker name can create a confusion within the software and in the mining pool and it may not be reflected and its hash rate may not be reflected in the software. To avoid this, I am changing the name of the worker here. Important setting is extra configuration arguments. Select the devices and then select your device number for running the second mining software that is device number 0 and 5 in my case. Please do your due diligence and make the best settings you can for yourself. After naming your flight sheet properly, you can start mining by clicking on the rocket icon placed on the right side of the flight sheet. Once the flight sheet is activated, you can see the 100% LHR unlocker is working. NB Miner is running on 4 of these GPUs, the 3000 series GPUs and T-Rex Miner is running on the other 2 GPU number 0 and 5. For the sake of genuinity, I am showing the console view of the mining software for NB miner and for the T-Rex miner. You can observe the 100% LHR is working perfectly. I'm getting a very stable performance by separating two mining softwares for running LHR and non-LHR GPUs. This is another of my all 3060 mining rig with five 3060s which are all LHR and is running on NB miner. It is giving me a very stable performance. As you can observe, I'm getting 50 mega hashes on each of these graphic cards, which was not possible earlier. With the advent of these mining softwares, it is possible for us miners to unlock the full potential of our GPUs, which means more profit and which is always a good thing. I would like to thank all the developer community within this fair for making this possible for us miners. It is a blessing. Thank you very much. As for this video, that is it for now. See you in the next one. I hope you found it useful. If you have made so far in this video, please do subscribe to the channel. It always helps the community grow, which I'm already observing. Thank you very much and take care.